Hi, my name is Max Hayes and I'm a tech analyst here at Edison. Today I'm joined here by Carl Havard, Managing Director of Tiger, Northern Data Group's Cloud Solutions Division. Northern Data provides high performance computing solutions across Europe and the US, operating through three main divisions, data center infrastructure, Bitcoin mining and cloud solutions. The company is listed in Germany and is currently capitalized at 539 million euros. Carl, many thanks for joining me. Pleasure. So to start with, can you give me an overview of Northern Data, particularly focusing on the transition from digital assets to the cloud solutions division? Yeah, of course. Um, and, and thanks for having me. I mean, uh, it's an exciting time uh, for Northern Data and for, for Tiger. And um, if I go back, say the heritage of, of Northern Data is typically crypto, it has been crypto mining across the globe. But two years ago, there was a big investment made with great foresight at the time into um, the, the latest technology in GPUs, which were provided by NVIDIA. And these were the A100s and A6000 machines. Now, um, that put Northern Data in a really, really interesting position from a cloud solutions perspective, specifically when you zone into the generative AI, uh, I guess, market we're now seeing and you focus in on, on Europe. The, these machines are hosted in our um, clean energy data centers across the north of Europe. And they are the same machines that ChatGPT was, was built on. And of course, October last year, when OpenAI went to market with ChatGPT, the generative AI term was sort of born and uh, the market went slightly wild for it. So uh, Northern Data, in hindsight, fantastic investment. Uh, put us in a great position from a cloud point of view. And because of this and the market demand we're now seeing, it absolutely makes sense to split Northern Data into the three key areas what it is, which is obviously crypto, which is one part of the business, obviously data center, which actually serves uh, the cloud part of the business. So I'm, I'm there uh, at the moment, probably best customer. And then we've got the cloud uh, solutions business, which we're, we've branded Tiger. So we're going to, to market as Tiger Cloud. Interesting, and why Tiger? So, Interesting name. We went around the, uh, the, the few houses to, to get to the, the, the essence of what we were trying to portray to the market. Now, Tiger, if, if those don't know, it's, it's an evergreen forest, uh, it, uh, which is aligns to the, the need for us to pro provide evergreen uh, agnostic technology to the market. Um, it absorbs carbon. It uh, generates oxygen. So that aligns to our clean energy uh, proposition. And uh, the location and, and, and region that, that, that the, the tiger forests are around the globe is, is aligned to where we actually hosted as well. So particularly the, the northern Europe. So it, it, it fits very nicely. And of course, it has AI in the, in the title too. So it fits also perfectly for the generative AI space. And northern data now tiger has been arguing uh, for access to more GPU demand yeah. uh, for the last two or three years. Mm. Um, and now we've seen an explosion in generative AI mm. triggered by uh, ChatGPT and DALI. Yeah. How has identifying that trend uh, benefit, benefited Northern Data? So, yeah, so um, I mean, going back to that two year investment with the A100s and already sitting on a fairly sizable uh, cluster of these GPUs, we, um, we see firsthand the demand in the market. And there's a real interesting dynamic happening out there at the moment where NVIDIA are producing the, 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 this technology and everyone's trying to get their hands on them. Now, you've got include the hyperscalers there, so your AWSs, your Googles, your, your Microsofts. We've also seen people like Adobe, who, and I think this is the clever move, Adobe are um, using the, the technology and trying to get hold of the technology in order to enhance their existing product. So if you've reused Adobe recently and Firefly, they're using generative AI to help creatives build new images, new backgrounds, new, new concepts, um, purely by the use of, of, of the compute power of, available. So everybody's trying to say everybody, tech companies are trying to get their hands uh, on, on this technology. There's only certainly a certain amount of capacity. And therefore, 
if it plays out, I'll say in the wrong way, then it could be end up being a monopoly on this. And, and, and therefore, it's a case where if, if organisations, even startups, you know, European startups in the life sciences arena, they've got this uh, really great idea to create maybe some new cure for some new, new uh, drug or solve some, some, some problems associated with health, etc. Or even in manufacturing, where people want to do some digital twinning, to save firing up the manufacturing plant and running scenarios, they'd like to do it through a, you know, an automated, stroke, more intelligent way, then in order for them to get access to this compute power, their options will be limited. And therefore, our ethos as Tiger going forward is we don't want to play that game. We, um, there are organisations similar to ours, similar scale, who have invested, I don't think as much, but they have invested in this compute power, and they've sold it all out to a single provider. Pros and cons of that, I see mainly cons, but so our intent is to offer the accessibility to this compute power for a whole range of different organisations. So um, that enables organisations to be able to say, okay, uh, I don't have to sign up for a cloud provider, I don't have to sign up for a multi-year contract, actually I can go to Tiger, I can uh, run my uh, LLMs or my machine learning, deep learning uh, applications, knowing that I can do that for a month if I need to. And um, I can also be rest assured I'll meet my ESG goals because I'm running on clean energy. Thank you. And clearly NVIDIA is the market leader in the production of GPUs. Can you describe how you became a preferred partner of theirs and the importance of that for your cloud services division? Yeah, of course. So um, back to the, the two year investment that was made. That put us as their largest um, customer in, in, inside of, of Europe. And, and we, we hold uh, one of the largest, if not the largest, um, clusters of the A100s, A6000s, as previously stated. So already it put us in a great, great position. And we've done a lot of good work uh, together going forward. Um, but our further investment that we're, we're making, which will over double that, that capacity, um, obviously strengthens the relationship on, 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 on one hand, but also we help NVIDIA and NVIDIA help us with our European focus. So they don't necessarily have many partners in Europe of our scale. Um, going forward, we will be their number one partner in Europe of the scale that we're at, um, which is great. So we, we've, we're, we're neatly knitted together that way. And the other element is the, the values that NVIDIA have. They want to democratise the compute power that they offer to the planet. Uh, our aim is to democratise access to it. And, and, and therefore, it's a real nice um, link together that they provide the compute power and we democratise the access across Europe. So we won't necessarily um, be taking big orders that consume all our capacity. We will actually be opening up to startups and research industries that want to get access to this compute power to do great things, in, uh, you know, innovate, build new services, build new products. And, uh, and, and take it from there, but also allow them to use uh, the compute power for, for, for time periods of maybe just a month, as opposed to having to sign up for 36 months. They can do that, um, but we are offering that, that, that frequency and, and uh, I, I guess small, smaller time chunks where they can actually do what they need to do with the, with the compute power. Fantastic, and as a preferred partner of NVIDIA, you're now set to get a steady supply of H100 GPUs. Yes. Can you describe, well, describe what that means for Northern Data um, and what it actually means for AI technologies across Europe? Yeah, so um, I think I mentioned before, there's this scramble for the H100. So, so if people aren't familiar with what the H100s are, they are the next iteration of, of the A100s where ChatGPT was, was sort of born. Uh, they are more powerful. Uh, 30 times uh, quicker in some instances than, than the A100s. And therefore, uh, you know, there is a limited supply, as I said before as well. So um, having the ability to get access into these, and it is a significant investment in these machines, then I think for us as an organisation, you know, an exciting place to be. Uh, I think it's quite exciting for NVIDIA too, because we offer them a strong European option. Um, but it's also, I think, quite exciting for organisations that want to 
reinvent their products and services and how they go to market for research institutions who want to uh, dramatically accelerate you know, the outcomes that they're trying to achieve. Um, I think we together can, can help the European market in global uh, companies that want to, to partner with us to help them achieve their goals uh, going forward. Um, it's really interesting actually, there was, was, was a piece of news I think yesterday which came out with AWS investing 100 million in generative AI, which is, which is great, commendable. Um, we're doing four times that amount and, 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 and people may not have heard of us as yet. So um, we're focused purely on the gen, gen AI space and therefore we'll offer the specialism, the access, everything that, that comes with that to the European market. And it seems that the GPU uh, cloud solutions market is currently dominated by those lar large cloud service providers like Amazon, Google, yeah. Microsoft. What is the role for an independent specialist? Yeah, the, the, I think there's many roles. I think, um, yeah, I think NVIDIA are doing the right thing and that's their, their sort of not necessarily protecting, but they are carefully orchestrating where their compute technology goes. And therefore they are preventing this market monopoly because uh, the hyperscalers clearly, it's their business, um, want to build out in their uh, regions and availability zones some generative AI uh, uh, compute power. Now, uh, it would be very easy for NVIDIA to sell everything to them and then not a great place for the, for the market. So the competition in that uh, access to it would be very limited. And therefore, if limited competition, price point raises, et cetera, it's not a good, 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 good state of play. So for organizations such as us, I think NVIDIA enabling us to have access to this compute technology and others like us opens up the competitive field. And we can go to market in, in slightly different ways to, to the way the generic hyperscalers will do. And I say generic because they're cloud providers that offer app migration, mainframe modernization, all those sorts of things. Generative AI is only a small part of what they do. Whereas organizations like Tiger, that's all that we do. And therefore, as well as offering the, uh, the compute capability, we'll also build the expertise and services to help our customers get the most out of that technology uh, going forward. I mean, as, as a, uh, an anecdote, we have been approached by a few bigger companies that have said, we'll take all you've got. And we've actually said, no, we don't want to do that. We want to be, back to our values, democratise the access to this compute power. And that's what we'll, we'll, we'll stick to. Well, thank you for your time today, uh, Carl, and clearly a very interesting time ahead uh, for Northern Data and for Tiger.